Hey everybody, welcome back to Sticky Floor Friday, the internet movie show that can 100% recommend Adventureland. It's really funny, it's sweet without being corny, and it just left a big smile on my face, so go check it out. But let's get to the movies coming out this week. We're going to start with Observe and Report, the new Seth Rogen comedy about a mall cop which should in no way be confused with Paul Blart. It's actually going to surprise a lot of people because it's darker than the trailer suggests. Seth Rogen himself has said this is like the taxi driver of comedy, which I guess would just make it the king of comedy, but I don't know. anyway, it doesn't matter. It's directed by Jody Hill, uh, who brought us The Foot Fist Way and also HBO's Eastbound and Down, both starring Danny McBride. And both of those uh, have this undercurrent of anger and darkness to them that sometimes outmatch the comedy that's in there. And I think Observant Report's going to be the same way. So I am going to recommend this movie because I like the idea that it challenges what a comedy can be. But I'm just saying, I'm warning you now, not for everybody. Alright, why don't we get to the movie that's probably going to win the weekend. The Hannah Montana movie. Now, I've underestimated Hannah before. I didn't even preview her 3D movie when it came out and then it ended up winning the weekend. and That really sucked. So I'm not, uh, I'm not going to ignore it this time. We're going to talk about Hannah Montana. And guess what? I've got a major beef with this thing. And it's this. She'll have to choose between the life she's always dreamed of and the life she never got to have. I never expected to love it here so much. I'm tired of living a double life. Oh my god, what does Miley Cyrus do? She has the best of both worlds and she has to choose between one of them? Oh, what do I do? Do I stay a rich and famous rock star? Or do I just become the daughter of a rich and famous rock star? Ooh, it's such a hard decision. What a fucking dilemma. Are you kidding me? This is really inspirational for kids. I'm sure they can relate to both sides of this. Or do I stay rich or do I fucking stay rich? This is ridiculous. What a self-important, pretentious idea for a movie for kids and you know what what's even worse is the fact that billy ray cyrus is in this movie and he's just as i like to call him billy ray siphon he is just sucking off of her fame and it is disgusting i can't believe that this movie is existing and that they're marketing to kids and that they're insulting them right in the goddamn trailer oh sorry about that i uh a lot of pent-up anger i guess i don't know uh, finally, we've got Dragon Ball Evolution, which I think is going to bring in a little bit of an audience, mostly because people are going to be confused and they're going to think that they're seeing a movie starring the Twilight guy. Although his look is a little more befuddlement than brooding. I have no interest in a live-action Dragon Ball movie. It feels like it's five years too late and ten times too lame. All right, let's recap. Observe, fuck you, Hannah, and suck a Dragon Ball. Do you know who I am? Well, I know you know who I am. 